Air, no I-45. Sky 2 is over a group of protesters fighting plans for a big expansion project to the North Freeway. The project would stretch from I-10 and the downtown corridor all the way up to the Beltway. And while you might think an expansion would be welcome news for families, Brandon Walker is live along I-45 in Quitman to explain why these neighbors are against it. Brandon? Hey, Lauren, this is an estimated $7 billion project being overseen by TxDOT. TxDOT says that it's taken into account some of the concerns that have been raised, but those in opposition believe that that is not the case. They also say in 2020, this project and expansion of highways is just unnecessary. It's going to have a lot of negative consequences. Fighting back Wednesday meant taking it to the streets, Polk Street, where it meets St. Emanuel, to be exact, to say no to the I-45 expansion project. There's going to be displacement, flooding, air pollution, noise pollution. The project, estimated to cost $7 billion, is under the oversight of TxDOT. The expansion will be divvied up in three phases from downtown to the Beltway. First up, what's called an unbuckling downtown. Critics say the move favors people who live in suburbs, allowing them easier access into the city for work at the expense of neighborhoods. People, primarily communities of color within the heart of Houston, displaced. They have a vested interest in being able to drive quickly into Houston and out of Houston. TxDOT begs to differ, saying freeing up congestion in the city center benefits all of Houston and its surrounding areas, adding they've met with communities that will be impacted by this and will purchase properties it needs to remove. But the opposition says in 2020 there are other ways to get around and area leaders should place public dollars there. We're asking them to advocate for walking, bicycling, and public transit uh, over single occupancy vehicles. So where does the project stand now? My colleague, traffic expert Anavid Reyes has been all top of this. She tells us that TxDOT is still waiting for the final results of an environmental impact study. And I spoke to TxDOT today. They say that that remains the case and it should be released sometime this summer. That would be, if you're counting the clock, looking at the calendar sometime within the next few weeks. So we'll continue to look out for that and let you know when it is made available. Live on the north side, along the North Freeway, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Brandon.